Howdy guys, it's Nintendo Capri Sun, and we are back with Let's Play Link's Awakening. Going through the Catfish Mall. Quite a redneck term, if I do say so myself. So anyway, we're going to make our way through this dungeon here and try to find our way back out, but ain't going to be no easy task. These guys are so annoying, I just want to bust a cap. No. Okay, so first you go from... Never mind. There we go. I really hate those things. Oh, choices. I'll take that. Even though I really <laughs> probably could have benefited a lot more from the from the acorn, but oh well. I'm just gonna ignore these guys and these guys. Well, I might have to kill these guys. Man, I had it for a second there. There we go. See how this room only has one block in it, whereas the other one had four. Oops. Well, that's because this is the first one. You have to do these in order. You have to fight this guy four times. This is how I usually do it. You just usually he'll jump towards you and then you just let him loose with your swing attack if you're quick enough. It does quite a bit of damage though if you let him hit you, so you can't be affording that. Oh! I can't beat you! I'm out of here! I can't shake this guy! I've got what was inside this box! Come and get it! If you can, Master Skull. Master Stalfos, I think, is more what he's hinting at there. Here's another room that kind of heralds back to the level 9 Zelda puzzle that you had to do. Let's go ahead and open the door. Open the door. There's number two. Two blocks. Ah, too early. Gulp, you found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that? If he says that... Usually it only mean, it means you'll get him in two hits, instead of three. At least, that's what I've noticed anyway, I don't know. There we go. Boom! I can't shake this guy! I'm out of here! Alright. Oh, you most certainly can't. I don't know what that guy, I'm not gonna give him no free damage. So now we go north, I think. Not completely sure about that, but, um... <laughs> I actually figured out this dungeon for myself. It took me about a half hour. It wasn't too bad. It is a big dungeon, but it's not too terribly... Uh, you know... It's not impossible. Especially if you used a bullseye womp rat. Here we go. There's number three. Numero tres. Bye. Oh, not bye. See you later. Whoosh. You found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that? Yeah, and you're a real pesky Stalfos, so I guess that makes us even. Here we go. Come and get me if you can. But you can't. You don't drop no fairy or nothing. Get out of here. I can't shake this guy! I'm out of here! See you later, peppy boy. I'll do you fast, peppy old pal! Man, the Star Fox quotes just never stop, I tell you. They just keep springing to mind, just no matter what you say, usually it ends up being pretty close to a Star Fox quote, and you can just kind of segue into it. That's often what I do. Or what I end up doing. So now what we need to do is get back to the beginning of the dungeon so I can get back to that room that I was in, in part one, where I couldn't do anything, because that has four blocks in it, so... That will be our fourth Stalfos fight. Oops. Don't run into those. I don't want to see that block of text come up saying, Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a, maybe I can dash into this with something. <laughs> so back we go. Make sure you pay attention not to fall on those cracks. So I've done that a couple times. Like, I just realized I'm not paying attention at all, and I fall right through the hole in the floor. Yeah. Oh man, I gotta kill this one. Crapiola cuck. There we go. One more... And how am I supposed to pick up all those rupees? Look at that. Ugh. Well, the item that you actually pick up in this dungeon is just stupid powerful. Just, I don't know how else to say it. It's stupid powerful. And boop. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, these are a little trickier than, than I gave them credit for last time, but there we go. Excuse me. I'm off to fight your grandpappy. So you'd best be ready. Yeah, I know. I almost forgot to switch to bombs there. We're okay. <laughs> There's actually a lot of boss-like characters in this dungeon. 
Cause this is not even like the mini boss. There's a mini boss and a boss. Goodbye. Mm. A little trickier than they were in A Link to the Past, but if you know what you're doing, it's cake. And you have the hook shot. Its chain stretches long. When you boing, use it. So, I believe that completes everything we need to do here. I know what to do for the rest of the dungeon, but I don't necessarily remember... I'm gonna leave that on. I don't necessarily remember the order to do it, so... You may have to bear with me here as I... What I actually did, I put the hookshot in place of the sword. Like, seriously. Now you can take care of these guys, no problem. Boom. Boop, ooh. Plus, you can pick up the wayward items that you might not be able to normally get to. Yeah, that's really gonna help. This treasure chest we saw on the way in, we can get it now. You've got 200 rupees! You're ecstatic! Not necessarily. But yeah, I'll take them. It also works on the Stalfos. Pretty much works on everything in here. So... And we can go this way. Oops. Ha! Ah, try it again. We just got to go slow here. Take her easy. Oh, you just had to be on this side of the room, didn't you? Thank goodness they don't take away your sword in this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have to switch to use my jump anymore. You've got the stone beak. Oh, nice. I really needed that. You know, I'm so glad I have that now, that beak, you know, because I've been wanting one of those since I was, like, a little kid. Now I finally got one, and I'm almost disappointed that I'm not more ecstatic. Uh. Okay, so this just takes us up here, but we need a key to get through that. I haven't picked one up recently, so... I'm not gonna bother bringing up that text box. Ah, but this room... Now you can actually get through this without the hookshot, but I would not recommend it. <laughs> so I did it earlier, and it just screwed me up. Then I tried to get back out, and I died, so... I would not recommend that. Here we go. There's a key! Uh-huh. See ya! I wonder if I... Well, no, I don't need those, really. Those are arrows, actually, for your bow and arrows. But I haven't actually used them yet, so... Might as well leave them there. Yeah, I was just up here earlier, and I didn't have a key. Well, now I do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I ain't got no magic for you to steal. Okay, here's the mini-boss. Uh So the thing to watch for these guys is if they... If they stop, they're gonna open their eye. But if they shake like that, then that means they're about to dash towards you, so... Just watch for that. It seems like they don't do anything unless you get up close to them, so... Yeah, you can actually hit them twice when the eyes open, so... Probably, I mean, the best thing that I did was, well, the thing that I did was take out the one in the front first. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but I would imagine it is, because you don't want to be between two of them when you're trying to hit the second one. I don't know if you can hit him three times, that might be possible. Probably have to be really close to him, though. No, don't leave the room! I want to start this all over again. You're dead! Say goodbye to your world. There's a warp back to the beginning. I don't know if that's actually practical to use that or not. I didn't do it last time, and I don't think I'm going to do it this time either. Hmm. I've never gone this way through the staircase. <laughs> I love they got Bowser statues you can actually, you know, grab onto. Well, what, what happens if you go up here, anyway? Oh, same thing, okay. Yeah, and you'd have to have the hookshot to get back out of here this way, so... At least they were nice enough to, uh... There's the other lock. Oh, crap, I can't get out this way. What am I doing? Oh, well. Yeah, at least we'll fill up on hearts, anyway. Good, I don't have to stop and go over there and get those other two, because I'm full now. Okay, so apparently I was supposed to... do this right here. Whoops. Alright. Now, take your time. Uh, now I just gotta remember where that other... Man, I got lucky there. 
Yeah, I guess the Speed Gamers Marathon has started now, but... But I'm not watching it just yet, because... Well... Kill, scorn me though you may, I'm not the hugest Mother, Mother 1 fan, so I'm just waiting for Mother 2. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but... You know, well... I guess I wasn't around for the first one. Oopsie. Yeah, this is not too hard of a dungeon, it's really... Just other than once you get to know it, it's alright. It's no worse than level 5 in the first Zelda, really, relatively speaking. Well, not relatively... Why did I say relatively speaking? That had nothing to do with what I just said. It just sounded good. Uh, is this how you get to that water room? I don't think it is. I think I was supposed to keep going. Well, uh, okay, I'll tell you what. We can go ahead and do this now. Oh, shit, I'm out of time! Oh my god, oh my god, I just noticed! Oh my god, 